heart-eating cannibal demands Obama send weapons. This is again out of Infowars.com. The Syrian rebel fighter who infamously cut out and bit into the heart of a dead soldier has threatened to commit even worse atrocities if the Obama administration doesn't send the FSA heavy weaponry and impose a no-fly zone over Syria, as we know they've promised to do. In an interview with the BBC, FSA fighter Abu Sakar, who prompted international condemnation back in May when video emerged of him cutting off and eating the internal organ of a Syrian army soldier as his comrades chanted Allah Akbar, is unrepentant for his actions. Pillorying the West for doing nothing to help the rebels, Sakar complains, quote, if we don't get help, a no-fly zone, heavy weapons, we will do worse than I did. You've seen nothing yet. So, in this interview with the BBC, the guy who cuts out the heart and eats it, he's actually threatening to escalate his atrocities if Obama doesn't send weapons to him and his jihadist friends, which they've promised to do. The weapons are on their way. But first, we know from a report by Reuters, which came out last night, there are congressional committees attempting to delay the delivery of weapons to these individuals who like to, you know, barbecue people's heads, ransack Christian churches, rape and murder 15-year-old girls, throw people off buildings amongst other glorious acts, all in the name of democracy. These are the people that your taxpayer funds are going to support in Syria in the name of freedom and democracy. But as far as pretending there's any kind of distinction between the, the quote, good rebels and the bad rebels, which of course they tried that tactic for months, the jig is now certainly up. We've spoken about, you know, on the show many times, these people are on tape. We've got them on tape glorifying the 9-11 attacks, burning American flags, even calling their fighting unit the Osama Bin Laden Brigade vowing to suicide bomb Europe and America once they're finished in Syria. And yet there's still a debate about whether or not these people are terrorists and whether we should arm them. These are the people that your government wants to give anti-aircraft missiles to, even though they're also on tape trying to bring down commercial airliners with anti-aircraft missiles. So will the White House be able to arm the terrorists in Syria before the Syrian army manages to wipe them all out. Well, time will only tell, but according to the heart-eating cannibal, the glorious freedom fighter under the FSA, if those weapons don't come soon, then the atrocities are only going to escalate. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show. <laughs>